Hey, what's up guys? This is Dan with my 22 Launcher N. Intense blue, looking very intense today, as I just detailed and polished it, so it's shining nice. I just hit about 400 miles, but like I said with my other cars, I usually keep the recipe the same. I'll do an intake, maybe exhaust. Probably not on this car though, because from the factory it sounds absolutely amazing. So it, it keeps my life a lot easier. I could just do an intake, uh, rims, and a few cosmetic mods, not much, but the first step for most of my cars is usually the intakes. And you got a couple options for this car. The first being this end performance, which is actually OEM. It has an OEM number on it, which I will show you guys. But ironically, you can't really get it in this. I mean, maybe if you go to your local Hyundai dealer and give them this OE number, they could probably look it up. I used to work at Hyundai back in the day. I think it would be the RN number right there, RN110 IB900. You gotta check, but they should be able to order it. I mean, if you were to go to Hyundai anyways and order a part, chances are it will come from Korea. I mean, there's domestic uh, warehouses where you would get parts, but a lot of things also come from Korea. So I ordered this from Shark Racing Online and Ironically, from Korea to New York, it only took four days to get to me, which is quite amazing. But I got this because it's really got that OEM plus look. It looks clean, it's simple, it's in performance, it's got that cool little window. And like I said, it's OEM, uh, so fitment's perfect. There shouldn't be any issues with warranty. It's just, it's the look and style I was going for. However, it's not cheap, it was like, how much was it, 500 bucks, 550? Not cheap, and you're getting this and this tubing, that's really it. What's cool about this, I can't do it in film, but this comes out if you twist it. So you hit this unlock here and you twist it and the whole filter element comes out. It's very simple, um, easy to change, easy to clean, and it just looks good. Very similar to the OEM um, box styling. I really don't expect big gains. I don't expect big noises. It just looks clean, it looks nice. And um, it's, it's cool to pop your hood and have and a little extra and performance um, luxury or performance mod under there. And um, like I said, it retains that OEM plus look. And I'm sure, look, the, that filter, this thing's huge. So yeah, I think I'm gonna have a little noise over that panel filter in there. So we'll know soon enough, but I'm sure there will be some improvements versus the stock. Installation is very simple. What I did first was unclamp these. You get your vice grips, just take this, loosen it, pull it back. There's another one here on the tubing. You gotta do that one too, cause then this will pull out. You got one more right here that you loosen and pull off. And then you literally have three bolt holes. You need an extension like this, 10 millimeter extension, but you got only one, two, three. You loosen it up, the whole box comes right out. Two push pins here, don't forget about those. And then you loosen the two hose clamps, would be here and then here, going towards the turbo. Whole thing pulls right out. So very simple to install. I'm probably gonna uh, unhook my battery just to help the computer relearn a little faster. The trims as I restart the car, the air to fuel ratio. And um, I will keep you guys posted once I install this thing. Alright guys, so the intake is in. Honestly, this is one of the easiest intakes I've ever installed in my life. If you follow the simple instructions on any website or tutorial, YouTube, whatever, or even based upon the basic instructions I gave you, it should take no longer than 30 minutes to pop this in. Um, the hardest part is probably lining it up and getting the host lamps on because it's got a little bit of an awkward angle, but um, it all just fits together so well. You gotta pay attention, like there's a little notch here, and when you put this on, this should line up and make it flush with the filter element here. Um, and all the bolt holes obviously should line up, but you put this intake tube on the right angle, you shouldn't have any issues. So I loosened everything, twisted it, fit right on. I didn't have to use any lube or anything special, giggity. And uh, it all, you know, came together perfectly. Very simple, OEM fitment. 
And um, now I'm going to set my battery, go for a quick spin. I want you guys to know how it hears, it sounds. So this is my first startup after the install. I disconnected the negative battery terminal for a couple minutes just to speed up the learning process. Um, do you have to do it? I don't know at this point. Cars are so sophisticated, they'll pick up on the uh, differences and, you know, intake air temps and air to fuel ratios and just how much car, how much car, how much air the car is sucking in and pretty much adapt on their own. It may take, uh, you know, a hundred miles or so or a good amount of battery driving, but I guess disconnecting the battery could speed that up because you're just kind of forcing the computer to uh, do like a soft restart in a sense. So I'm gonna let it idle for a few minutes. I heard it more upon starting it up. I, I heard a good intake noise, so I'm curious to see how it sounds once um, I get on it. I will do that shortly. So, I apologize if you couldn't hear it too well. I did a couple takes in normal mode, and then a couple takes in end mode. But the thing is, the car's only got 300 miles, so I'm not trying to beat the shit out of it. Um, took it a little easy. I don't think I revved past 4,500, 5K until it's broken in. But, hopefully you guys got an idea of how it sounds. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.